Hey, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to uh, page through your own records in Adalo. Um, and this is different from the API one. Um, but basically, you would use this in a scenario where um, you need to change um, you need to change the type of data that's being passed from one screen to another. Um, but maybe you want to stay on the exact same screen, just change the data that's on the screen. Um, and in this case, the, the refresh or the bounce method uh, won't really work because as soon as you refresh the page, you don't have um, a query that you can pass like with the API. Um, you have to kind of refresh that data and there's no way to tell the screen, okay, um, we were looking at, um, like in our case, we'll be looking at recipes and steps for the, that, those recipes, but um, you can't say, all right, we were looking at, you know, the step screen, um, step one, now I want to refresh and look at step two. You can't, there's not really a, an easy way to do that. So I'm going to show you a, a workaround uh, for, how to do, for how to do that. So I've got two uh, collections here. I've got a recipes collection that just has a name property, and then I've got a steps collection. Uh, recipe, these are steps for these uh, each recipe. Um, and it's just got a name, a step number, and then some content there. Um, and so I'm gonna link these together. So I'm gonna add a property, a relationship to the recipes. Um, and I'm gonna pick this one. A recipe can have multiple steps and a step belongs to one recipe. So we'll add that, click save there. And now what I want to do is, let's say on my home screen, I've got a list of recipes for people to look through. So let's just grab this. Uh, this is just a simple list of recipes. Um, and we can change this to, well, we're just going to look at all recipes for now. And then um, the title is going to be the recipe name. All right, so that works good. So we've got that. Um, now, what I want to do is, when a user taps on this, I want it to display um, the screen, like a summary screen for that recipe, telling them like how many steps are in it and that type of thing. So I'm just going to add a blank screen here, or actually, let's add an info screen. Maybe that'll be maybe that'll be a little bit better. Yeah, let's do this one. So uh, we'll call this recipe summary. Okay, and let me just zoom out here and get this uh, over here where we can see it. All right. And you can see there's a screen from the other uh, tutorials there. All right. So uh, we've got our recipe summary. Maybe this is like the, uh, the photo of the recipe or something like that. Let's go ahead and add that field there. Um, we'll add an image field. Uh, picture. All right, so maybe we'll make this the. Uh, well, actually, we've got to pass something, don't we? So let's go over here to the list and click on. On click, we're going to link to the recipe summary so that we can push that data there. All right. So now here, let's make this uh, the the current recipes picture, and maybe this is. Um, I don't have any content here but let's uh just erase all this and maybe we'll put just the title here current recipe name all right and maybe this button takes us to let's let's uh or maybe let's say cook this or something like that make this a little bit wider but basically what, what we want to do is this button is going to take them uh, let's say that they visit this screen and they say you know I really want to do this one so um, let's let's go ahead and uh, and and start cooking this and I want it to take them to the first step of the recipe um, but I don't want to because those steps are going to be dynamic the number of steps changes I don't know exactly how many screens I need to create because I don't want to push the user to a new screen for each step. I just want to recreate that screen just with the next step in the sequence. So, um, uh, but let, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. And I'll, I'll show you here in just a second. So uh, let's create a little arrow button. It says cook this. All right. 
And um, so now let's add uh, a step screen. And I'm going to press Alt, click, and then drag this to duplicate the screen. Nice little trick there. And uh, this button is now, actually, let's rename this. Uh, we'll call this page the step name or the step uh, step page maybe is better step page all right and um, so what we're going to be passing here is uh, this button actually we need to change this actually because if I just press this button it's just going to send it here um, and it's going to be passing just the recipe data and I don't want it to pass just the recipe data I want it to pass um, the first page of this of this recipe so what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to th this is this is the hack right here um, I'm actually going to delete this and instead of adding a button I'm going to add a list a custom list and uh, you may can figure out where this is going um, but what I'm gonna do is for this list um, I'm gonna make this a list of steps and it's going to be only the current recipes steps and not only that but it's going to be the step number from low to high and the maximum number of items is going to be one I only want to show one thing here and that's the very first step alright so um, we're showing one step here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything else out of this uh, out of this box here like even this uh, even this rectangle, but I'll delete it in a second because I'm going to use it as a placeholder. Um, and we're going to add some text here. Actually, yeah, just do this. And we're going to actually make this look like a button, essentially. Um, okay, so there's our there's our uh, text there. Maybe make this uh, a little bit smaller here, and maybe let's add a. Um, I would add an image, uh, but that, that may take too long for this for this little tutorial. All right, so we've got our button there. Let's make this uh, let's make this text uh, white, and then we're actually going to make this rectangle. Um, let's make it the standard color here. All right, good. And uh, let's make this rectangle just a little bit smaller. Make it actually look like a button here. If we can. There we go. All right. And uh, this, you you can kind of play around with this and get it to look kind of exactly the way you want. Um, but for right now, this will this will be fine. So the next thing that I want to do is actually select the entire list. And I, I only want to see, just for design considerations, I only want to see just that button. So I'm just going to grab the entire list and kind of bump it up here and make this about like this. And actually, let's do this right here. We'll grab this. Hold shift and kind of drag these over. And this part gets a little bit tricky uh, trying to um, line it up correctly. It's kind of a trial and error thing, but that looks pretty good. All right, so now we've got our button here. Um, and you can add anything you want to this. this we're just basically making a custom button here. Um, but what it's doing is it's showing me just the, this first page here. And on the action, I want to link it to the step page. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this current step and put all that information here on this page. So this is, instead of the recipe name, this is actually now going to be the current step. See, we now have this option here, the name. And then if I wanted to add like a number or something like that, let's, let's do that really fast. Now this is going to be the uh, current step, step number. All right. Um, and let's go ahead and make this not multi-line so that it shows up and maybe I want to make this a different color to kind of differentiate alright so um, let's go ahead and add some data here under steps let's add a an image as well for that particular step so that people can know what it looks like 
and I'm going to change the data in this to show if there's, let's see, the current steps picture. And again, you can put any data that you want here. Let's go ahead and add the content field down below. Um, and this is going to be the current steps content. All right, so we've got the name of it, the step number, and the content. And now uh, the final part of this hack is to do basically what we did here, except we only want to show um, uh, any steps that are higher than whatever this step number is. So I'm actually just going to copy this. Again, alt, click, drag. We'll change the text in this to say next step. All right, and this the data in this list is going to be still a list of steps. It's still the current recipe um, steps. Um, but for here, we're going to add another filter where the step number is greater than the current step number. Okay, so we're, we only want the step numbers that are greater than this one. Um, so if we're on step one, it's only going to show us step two because we've set the number of items uh, to one and we're organizing it from low to high. So if we're on step three, it's going to show us step four. If we're on step 18, it's going to show us step 19 right here. Um, and that's going to be the only option that they have to click on. Um, and again, because we have it linked to the step page, it's basically just going to refresh this page with the data from the next step. All right. So to test this, I'm just going to add in some, some fake steps here. Um, so we'll just call this uh, mix together. We'll make this step one. Um, blah, 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 something there. Recipe. And this is, uh, I've already created a recipe here, so sample recipe. We'll click save. Let's add another step. Um, and then we'll say bake it. And this can be step two in the content. Uh, can again be blah blah bake it sample recipe all right so we've got two steps there let's go ahead and add just one more just so that we can see here and I'll say eat it this is step three and again you can have the user fill this out with a form or whatever you want uh, This reminds me of the Weird Al Yankovic song, uh, Beat It, well, except it's Eat It. All right, so uh, sample recipe, click Save there, and done. All right, so now that we've got this built out, I hope that wasn't too confusing, we've got a home page with the list of recipes here. We've got a recipe summary um, with a list linking to the, the first step of this recipe, and then we've got a refreshable uh, dynamic uh, step page with a list button here um, that will take us to the next step. All right, so let's preview this and just see. And I'm going to log in with our credentials that we always use here. Uh, so I've already got an account. Let's do dude at gmail.com. All right, so we've got there's our sample recipe. If we click on this, it's going to take us to the recipe summary. There's no, I don't have a photo for it, so ideally there'd be a photo here. There's the name of it. Um, and remember, this is a list. So we're going to click on this, and this is going to take us to the first step. So there we've got step one, mixed together, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm done with that one. Let's go to the next step. The next step is two, bake it, blah, 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 bake it. Uh, all right, I'm done with that one. Let's go to three, eat it, eat, 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 eat. All right. So. That was a, a longer one, um, but it, uh, it took a minute to kind of explain and get things set up right. Hope this was helpful for you. Again, as always, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know, and I'll try to do my best to answer.